Hello, everyone. I am Stuart Heath. I am the Games and Outreach Coordinator at the UNT Media Library. And I'm here to tell you all about the Media Library and um, give you some tips and pointers for how to use our resources and to just kind of show you around the space. So first and foremost, we are the Media Library. The Media Library contains the UNT, UNT's library. The UNT Library's non-print audiovisual tabletop games and video game collections. Our mission is to support the instructional and research needs of the UNT faculty, staff, and students by collecting, maintaining, and providing access to media materials that represent all academic disciplines and all genre of films. We have games, we have movies, we have documentaries, we have D&D books, we have dice, minis, playing mats, really anything that you could think of to support film and gaming. So the Media Library Services and Operations uh, will look a little bit different in the fall of 2020 than they usually would. Our hours of operation are going to be Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., but our collection will remain the same, and our collection will be just as available to you as it always was. Uh, again, our collection involves movies, documentaries, TV shows, online video, video games, tabletop games, video game consoles, and handheld consoles as well. All of these materials can be requested online at library.unt.edu forward slash media. And whenever you request the items by putting a hold on them online, you'll receive an email notification whenever your materials are ready to be picked up at the Willis Library. And then you can return these same materials at Willis as well. Our operations do look a little bit different than they usually would. Usually we're in a completely separate building than Willis, but during the fall semester of 2020, our hours, hours of operation are Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., and we're located in Willis 250C. This is where you'll pick up all of your materials that you've requested online, as well as where you'll drop them off to. Now, in addition to the Media Library, we're also really closely partnered with the Discovery Park Library, and the Discovery Park Library is located on the Discovery Park campus in room B112, and their fall 2020 hours of operation are Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. The Discovery Park collection is very similar to the media libraries in that they have game consoles, video games, board games, DVDs, and plenty more. Now, I've talked a lot about what things look like right now, but I figured I'd give you an example of what things will look like in the future and what things would look like under normal circumstances. The media library space, while it is closed to the public this semester and all of our collections available in Willis, the media library space is actually located in Chilton 111. And um, Chilton Hall is just a couple streets away from the Willis Library. And in person in the media library, we have spaces such as the Nest, which is a room outfitted with 21 high-end gaming PCs. We have the Media Library Commons, where we have all updated game consoles. We have tabletops, we have VR, and really just a great space to um, engage with other students as well as to interact with our collection and, and play the games that we have housed in the library. We have a room called 111C, which is our screening room where a lot of classes will often host film screenings and show films that might be part of a syllabus or a course curriculum. And then we have viewing stations located in the media library where students and staff will watch films that might be put on reserve because they're a part of, a, again, a syllabus or a course curriculum. However, while the media library's physical space is closed this semester, we do have viewing stations available in Willis. In addition to our physical space, we have a very, very lively digital space available to you, and that's available always. You can access all of our streaming services um, through the Media Library's digital catalog just by searching the online video, and you can access it through a number of our different streaming platforms. And there are thousands of titles available for streaming. And while the Media Library's physical space is closed, we do have a recently created digital space in our Discord server, which you can access using this link right here. And our Discord server serves as a wonderful space for people to engage with one another, discuss films, discuss movies, talk about uh, tabletop games, and it's a great way to stay in touch with uh, our faculty, staff, other students, as well as stay in the loop with all of our events happening throughout the semester and other important updates from all the libraries. Here's an example of what our Discord server looks like. Um, you'll see we have a variety of different categories and channels on the left-hand side here. And once you were joined, the first thing that you'll see is our welcome and our rules, as well as our announcements, frequently asked questions, and the role request. Whenever you read the welcome messages and the rules, you request a role such as student, community, faculty, staff. And whenever you get your role assigned, then you'll have the ability to access all of these other channels, including video games, tabletop games, movies and TV, as well as our games writing workshop, which I will touch on in just a little bit. Again, here's the Discord link if you'd like to join us right there. And throughout the semester, we have so many events. 
uh, we have just a number of different things happening, both regarding film and gaming in order to highlight and engage with our collection, as well as just, you know, geek out about all things film and gaming because it's our favorite thing to do. Game events, so many game events. <laughs> in these game events, like I mentioned, we have Game On, which is an open gaming free play session between the hours of the event, which is typically four to 9 p.m., where we take down all of our reservations so everybody can come and go as they please. They can play any games they'd like. We have um, different prizes. We have sometimes competitions. We have different themes for different game ons. D and D mini painting. We have really just anything and everything gaming, and it's so so much fun. However, as you can tell with each of these pictures, this is an in-person event due to current circumstances during the fall 2020 semester. This event is not going anywhere, but we have transitioned it into a digital format. Now we have Game On, but make it virtual. <laughs> um, we are continuing to host Game On and we're still playing games with our patrons and we're still playing games with our community. But the way that we're doing it now for this semester is people will join the Discord. You can vote on what games you wanna play with us the first Wednesday of every month. And then we get together with all of our students and we play online games. Typically we try to lean towards free games. So it's games that everybody can access, but we'll also try and pick games that are in our collection so we can highlight the different things that we have available to you outside of our events. So here is, that's me. Um, here's us playing some Jackbox together. For the Game On schedule, we have Game On at the Media Library, and there's also Game On at the Discovery Park Library. The Discovery Park Library Game Ons take place the first Tuesday of every month, while the Media Library Game Ons take place the first Wednesday of every month. The Media Library's Game Ons will be September 2nd, October 7th, November 4th, while Discovery Parks are September 1st, October 6th, and November 3rd. Game, uh, Media Libraries Game On is 4 to 9 p.m. for a five-hour evening gameplay session. And the Discovery Park Libraries Game On is 11 a.m. to 1. So it's a really nice opportunity to kind of take lunch and, and come play some games with us. There was also the Games Writing Workshop hosted in the Media Library, which, again, as you can see by this picture, started off as an in-person workshop. But for this semester, we've transitioned it to an online workshop, which is housed in our Discord server. And to join, you just join the Discord server, request the appropriate role, and we are meeting on September 17th, October 15th, and November 19th. Now, these sessions are a whole lot of fun because it gives students and community the opportunity to kind of hone their creative tools and uh, really learn a lot about writing within the games industry, whether it be writing for tabletop games or writing for video games. The way that we structure the workshop is that we offer everybody a prompt. And then after a week or two, everybody returns on our scheduled designated meeting time times with their completed prompt. They submit it to the Discord server. And then everybody reads the prompt and provides critique and peer review. And we all just kind of geek out and talk about game writing. And it's, it's honestly a whole lot of fun. Now, we also host escape rooms and tabletop breakouts throughout most standard semesters. During the semester, we don't have any current plans to host any escape rooms due to in-person limitations but we will continue to host digital breakouts, which are kind of a, a means of solving puzzles and, and finding clues and getting from one stage to another to unlock each different stage to eventually complete the breakout. It's a whole lot of fun for anyone who hasn't done an escape room or is familiar with escape rooms, breakouts are somewhat of a condensed version of that. And we will continue to offer digital breakouts, but we will one day again return to hosting in-person escape rooms whenever our services return to a more normal situation. Again, we have a new Twitch series called D&D &D and UNT, which occurs September 23rd, October 21st, and November 18th between the hours of 1 and 4 p.m. And this is a new Twitch show where a lot of our student, um, student associates and student assistants at the Media Library get together and play D&D &D live on Twitch while the university community and students and faculty get together in the Twitch chat to communicate and engage and chat with the players to make sure that they survive, but also give them ideas for gameplay and give them ideas for um, different types of sessions for the future. Now we have film events. There's so many film events and I'm not gonna go too, too into detail. And I only have a couple to give you examples about, but uh, one in particular is FilmFlix, which is a, one of our longer occurring film screenings and uh, will continue to happen this semester. Uh, FilmFlix will be taking place September 23rd, October 21st and November 11th. The way that FilmFlix operates is that the films will be available for viewing at least two weeks prior to scheduled discussions. And you can watch them with these Vimeo links here using these passwords. And the discussions that will take place on these dates will take place on Zoom. So people will watch films ahead of time and then get together to talk about the film. And then there'll also be a discussant who's leading the discussion and talking about the film's contents. 
Uh, one in particular that is going to be happening is October 21st, which is Alaska is a Drag. And the discussant is actually going to be the director who's going to be talking about the film and the content. And anyone who participates will get the opportunity to engage with the director as well. Then we have that other new Twitch series, which I mentioned previously, called the Media Library Movie Club, which is taking place September 15th, October 13th, and November 10th. These will be taking place from 7 to 8 p.m. And this is, again, the Media Library student assistants watching films ahead of time and then jumping on Twitch to discuss the film elements and have in-depth discussions about the, the contents of the films. Most importantly, we, while we have an awesome collection and so many awesome events, we have some really, really great faculty and staff that are here for you at all times within work hours. Uh, we have two subject librarians at the Media Library. We have Diane Robson, who's the Games and Education Librarian, and she's the subject liaison for the College of Engineering and the Department of Learning Technologies. Then there's Stephen Guerrero, who is the Media Arts and Digitization Librarian, and he's the subject liaison for the Department of Media Arts. So if you fall into any of these colleges or any of these schools, these librarians are here to help you. If you have any sort of research or information questions, you can contact them using their email addresses right here, and then just let them know uh, what, your, what your requests or your needs might be. And outside of that, outside of being subject liaisons, we're all always here to help you. We um, really, really strive to do everything we can to support our students and our patrons. And that being said, we're, we're here to help. I cannot stress that enough. Uh, we, our email address is media.library at unt.edu. If you have any questions about ours, policies, our services, our collection, finds, events, our Discord server, anything, you can contact us with this email address and we'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. And then we also have our Discord server right here. If you want to join, you can reach out to any of the staff that are part of the Discord or any of our moderators or admins with any sort of questions you might have as well. Again, our hours of operation during the fall 2020 semester are Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Now, I can give you a brief glimpse of what things look like in person for whenever we do return to a slightly more normal situation and we're no longer operating out of Willis's second floor in 250C. If you were to walk into the doors of the media library in Chilton Hall, this is the first thing you'd see. And right over here to your right, we have some search carols where uh, patrons can look up our items in our digital catalog, grab the call number, and then you would then bring the call number to our front desk. And our front desk would be able to grab the item that you're looking for and bring it up to you and, and uh, let you check it out. We do have a closed stacks, which just means that patrons cannot browse the stacks um, in person, but we do have everything available and accessible in our digital catalog where you'd be able to bring that information to our front desk. Now, if you were to walk a little bit further into the actual media library space, you'd see that over here we have a bulletin board where we keep updates and all of our flyers for each of our events and everything happening in the space. We have different staff recommendations. We like to update you guys with what are the latest movies and games we've added to the collection. And if you were to travel a little bit further into the media library, you would see that right over here we have those viewing stations I mentioned earlier where students, faculty, and staff can watch the films that we have on reserve which basically means there are films that aren't available to be taken out of the library because they might be in really high demand for, say, a course requirement. Now, if you were to travel even further into the media library, you eventually get into the media library commons where we have all these different open tabletop spaces for really, of course, anything that you want to use them for, whether it be studying, relaxing, having a snack. But uh, a lot of our patrons like to use these for playing board games. And during our events, people play D&D &D and run different uh, tabletop one shots. That's just so, so much fun to see happen. We have uh, our screening room right over here, 111C. And again, this is where a lot of classes will often host film screenings whenever they're a part of their course curriculum, as well as this is a room that's used by the UNT Esports Division for a lot of their sports casting. Back into the Media Library of Commons, we have every updated current video game console from the most current generations from like Xbox One, PlayStation 4, all the way down to the Wii. Everything earlier than the Wii, we consider kind of our legacy collection, and that isn't actually out public facing. But in this space, you have every updated console as well as 4K monitors and screens to play on. We have, we have VR, we have the Oculus, we have the Vive. We have, I like to say that we have everything, but if we don't, you can let us know and we'll see what we can do about it. And we do operate on an online reservation system to make sure that everybody has the same access to the space and everybody has a certain fair number of hours of gameplay. And whenever you make a reservation for a station, you'll see that you have a station reserved here on these tablets at each of the stations. And we do have some PCs that spill out of the nest. Speaking of the nest, so this room is accessible from 
right outside is the commons. And if you were to walk in the nest, this is where we have all of our high-end gaming PCs. Now, all of our PCs, again, do run on the reservation system. And all the games on the PCs are actually already loaded onto the PCs, as opposed to our console games, which you can check out at the front desk. These PCs are all outfitted with like raising and lowering desks and just really, really fantastic hardware. And this is also the room where the UNT Esports Division has their tournaments and has their practices. That it typically takes place outside of standard patron hours, so they don't really conflict with one another as well. But that should be really the majority of it. If anybody has any questions about the space or has any questions about space use or the collection or how things operate, Again, you can contact us at media.library.unt.edu. One thing that I definitely feel is important to mention is that yes, you can play games in the space, but you can of course check out consoles and check out games and take them with you outside of the space as well. For the most part, that is the media library and we are really, really excited to have you guys back in the space. Thank you so much.